Yo, what is good, Dev Gods? Welcome to part four. There should be a link in the description of this video that will take you to a Google Drive so you can download these assets. Go ahead and unzip that asset, whatever you use, un uh, extract all, WinRAR, whatever. Uh, go inside and just copy these into the directory where your project is saved. So if I go to um, where my project is on my E drive, Unreal Projects, go to Fans Recoil, Content Folder, just drag and drop these two folders inside of here. And since I've already done it, it'll ask me to replace them, but I'll just uh, cancel out of that. But yeah, just drag them and drop them into your project and you should be good. Um, it's a bullet hole decal and it's a uh, VFX from um, from Lieutenant Bellica's uh, Paragon assets. So yeah, we're going to use those just to, to just to get the emitters going and as well as get the uh, decal spawning. All right, so let's just jump right into the code. Uh, I'm going to close down the editor for this because I don't really need it. And in our character.h, go down to the recoil system here. And we need two U properties. And I, I'm going to actually copy this uh, accessor right here. Or this, uh, what is it called? Macro right here. And instead of advanced, well, we can leave it under advanced recoil. And this could be a new tab called, um, let's call this FX. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and organize this one and call it uh, Curves. So just to have a little bit of organization in this. You know, I love, I love a little organized editor. That's why UE5 is so sexy, bro. That editor is, ooh, Jesus Christ. But yeah, so we need a we need a couple things here. The one thing that an emitter takes in is a U particle system. So we need a, a do I need the floor for declare that? I don't think it yeah, you don't need you don't need the floor declare it. Or you probably do. I'm gonna just do it just in case. Where were we? Press back. Uh, a good um, good tip is if you lose your place, you can press the back button on your mouse and go back to where you where your mouse cursor last was. So if I, my mouse cursor was last here and then I scroll all the way here, if I press back on my mouse, it'll take me back to where I am. Um, so I'm going to forward declare this just to help out the compiler. You, you particle system, we'll call this the uh, hit emitter. And then uh, let's copy this macro and make a u decal material no it's just a u material instance yeah we just need a material instance pointer uh let's also forward declare this i don't know if i have to or not but it's always there's nothing wrong with forward declaring something so we'll call this the hit decal material so uh, this is going to be a short one. This is real simple. Uh, what we want to do is go to our fire, uh, where is it, on fire function. And if we hit something, we already set these up. So if we hit something, we draw on a debug box and whatnot. So we want to go ahead and get rid of this line trace here. Uh, not line trace, but we get rid of the debug draw line and get rid of the draw debug box. And instead, we're going to uh, use U uh, gameplay statics, and we're going to spawn emitter at location, and uh, we can get the world. Well, actually, we already got the world, so let's just pass in world. The particle system is our hit emitter, um, and that vector location is the hit location. Hit dot location. The F rotator rotation is fine because we're not, um, this doesn't matter. It's just going to hit and spark off. And the rest of the settings for the uh, particle emitter is fine. Uh, or I mean, for spawn emitter at location is fine. But we do want to do a quick check here. If 
we don't have a particle system so if hit emitter is uh if not hit emitter if it's null just return and then we can do the same thing here for the next piece of code if not uh what is it called uh hit decal material and return but if we do have it we want to go you gameplay statics and we want to spawn decal at location where is that yeah there it is spawn decal at location and this takes in the world so passing in the world um the material you material interface okay so we need to change the um the pointer so this needs to be a u material interface what is material interface hold on u material interface interface data huh this might we might not be able to do this in unreal engine 5. i haven't worked with decals in here yet but let's just try it let's just see okay yeah let's just check I didn't test this before this video, so if we run into any issues, I'll just Google them real quick, see how to fix them. So we'll pass in our hit decal material. The decal size, you want to set this to something like 15, bro. Like just do 15. Just just so it can be big enough. Whoops. The location is the hit dot location. And the rotator, it defaults to negative 90, but we want to pass in the impact normal. So do hit dot impact normal. And then we want to uh, get a rotator out of this. The rotation from that. Um, the rest of those, nope, the uh, lifespan set it to something like 10 so that it disappears in your world doesn't because if you don't set the lifespan it'll stay in your world permanently and, and decal materials are pretty expensive so this should work i am going to um yeah that should be that should be it for that go ahead run the editor Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, so now that we got that up, let's see if this works. Now we're not even firing. What the hell? Okay, what happened? Okay. Um, B has hit something. Do this code. I'm just returning out. So let's see. Um... We probably were, were firing. Uh, it just we were returning out, so we didn't play the animation or anything like that. So what that means is we need to go set the uh, the materials. So go to your blueprints folder to where your character is located, and in our effects tab, our hit emitter should be world. Uh, it should be P Bellica hit world, and then our decal material should be uh, I think it's asphalt. Uh, M I asphalt two. And it does work. Okay, let's see what happens here. So if I press play, yeah, there's our uh, decal material. So let's uh, look at our recoil pattern. It's, it's weird. Let me reload. Okay, so one thing I am noticing that I want to fix is the uh, speed that we interpolate back to our um, back to our original rotation. So let's go to our uh, tick function, and this interp speed. Let's 
move it up let's go let's go f extreme real quick to see where it's at and let's just compile that if you want to work quicker you can expose that as a a field inside of your character just uh remember organization is key um for me that doesn't matter right now so let's see how quick we get back oh yeah that's too fast but it's not bad. See how the recoil just ends right there. Okay. So maybe something like 4.5 because half of that will probably be too much as well. So a little bit less than half should be good. And let's compile. Let's play. Okay, here. Yeah, that's good, okay. I reload my gun and as soon as I move, it'll stop me from going back. So I can snap to the next target if I want to. Now I'm gonna try to re. I'm gonna try to. Let's see. What's the pattern for this? Let's try to send me pictures of you guys getting all your recoil in one spot. All right. So it goes. I need to. Oh shit. I need to reload first of all. And then we go down. Oh shit. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. Send me your pictures, man. Join my Discord and put them inside the... Uh, I'll make a section for this. Just put them in the general chat. Yeah, so up, it goes up and then up to the right and down. So let's go down. Let me reload, God damn it. Down to the left and up to the... Ah, uh, let's go. You feel me, baby? Recoil control. You dig what I'm saying? Okay, so that's pretty much all I have for this video. Uh, you guys can go ahead and tweak your curves. Like I said, I made the curve like this so you can see how drawing the curve really does paint a picture of, and if I go into the curves, uh, so our what is our up and down vertical? Drawing the curve really does paint a picture of how that curve is going to react. So uh, we just want it to go up and then uh, let's just let's just make it stay up. I'm gonna delete, let's delete this. Uh, and we'll make this stay up. We'll make this um, a little bit better here. And we won't actually do this. We'll go here. So it'll go up and it'll keep going up. Go up, keep going up. So, and this, and I'm doing this so you can see how easy it is to, to dynamically change your curve to where your recoil pattern will change. So now our recoil pattern is just up, up, you see? So now it's different. So now if we try to combat that, we got a whole different recoil pattern. And that's, uh, that is uh, pretty much all I have for you guys. Play around with it, enjoy it. In the next video, I will try to show you guys a simple solution to add in bullet spread, because as you can see, uh, if I hip fire, all of the bullets come out straight. But when you hip fire and the, the bullets shouldn't all hit in the same spot as if you're aiming so we're going to set up a uh we're not going to set up an ads or anything like that we're just going to set up a boolean that says we're adsing and that'll change the alpha of a of a value from one to a certain number that way we can have bullet spread when we're not aiming and a very minimal bullet spread when we are aiming so i'll see you in that one man appreciate y'all stopping by peace